the Iron Chef Tucson competition and culinary experience is coming up this Sunday. One of the most delicious ingredients to use when cooking is beer, of course. Woo! Presenting this year's delicious beer is Stella Artois. Stella Artois. So fancy. <laughs> well, John Gustavus and Jamie Dickman from Hensley Beverage, who distribute Stella Artois in southern Arizona, are here to give us tips on how to best enjoy beer and pair it with your favorite foods. You guys, I couldn't be more happy that you're here. Yeah. So welcome we're to the show. Here. Thank you. <laughs> so again, we're talking a little bit about Stella Artois because they're actually sponsoring the Iron Chef Tucson event. So. Let's talk about the beer. I'm really excited because you brought some for us to even taste today. We did, and so while I explain it a little bit, John will pour a little awesome. bit. Awesome. Uh, so Stella Artois is a traditional uh, Belgian pilsner. It was brewed by uh, Sebastian Artois. Um, it's a couple centuries old overall with the brewing traditions. Um, interestingly enough, it was originally brewed as a Christmas ale. At the time, a lot of the ales during that, or, sorry, lager, not ale. Uh, at the time, it was a lot of darker beers that you had there. And so he wanted to create something that was as bright and clear as a Christmas star. Oh, so wow. Stella Artois was born. Uh, Stella itself yeah. is actually you, Latin mm -hmm. for star. So it's nice and uh, it's light. It's well-balanced, crisp. Perfect for the weather we have right now, but it can be enjoyed throughout the year, obviously. Pairs very well with different types of food, which you will see when you come out to uh, the Iron Chef this weekend. Perfect. Well, I say cheers yeah, to you, sir. Absolutely. Cheers. Yes. And one of my favorite things here, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of my favorite things about the Stella is the glass, the, the way it's fluted with the gold on top. Tell me why they do that. Well, there's a tradition in Belgium that. Uh, each brand, each style of beer has its own special glass, and the glass is really designed to give you the best experience of the beer. So, a beer that might be highly carbonated, there's a, it might be fluted out to release some of the carbonation, so it's in perfect balance. Or you might have some beers that uh, really uh, rely on the aroma, so it might be a wider bowl like a snifter, and that style of glassware is is really kind of taking both of those elements. Um, it, it, the, the the lip actually goes in a little bit to trap the carbonation. Uh, but as you drink it down, it uh, opens up a little bit uh, because it's a wider bowl. And then that, like the snifter, you know, you normally hold it and it'll warm up the beer and make it, give it some more character. But with the Stella glassware, uh, the stem prevents you from warming up the mm -hmm. beer. So it stays colder longer. And by the time you finish it, you're, you know, looking for that next bite of your food <laughs> and right. looking for the next Stella uh, beer as well. That's so interesting because I always thought it was just a pretty glass, but it's yeah. actually yeah. a lot of thought went into this. Yes, it, which is there really is, cool. Yeah. So I don't know, Zach, if you've heard about this, but there's like a trend right now of dinner parties, but they're beer parties. Right. Absolutely. So is that a thing? I mean, tell us more about that. Well, I think the chefs are beginning to recognize that beer has equal complexity as wine does. Uh, so you know, there's a long tradition in pairing wine with uh, food. But beer, if you look at its ingredients and the, the different flavor profiles that you get from different beer styles, uh, they match perfectly with food. You have uh, malt flavors that range from uh, slightly breadiness to toffee to richer caramels to even like uh, toasted or roasted flavors. And those flavors really match perfectly with a lot of foods. And then we could get into the hot profiles that <laughs> also um, match uh, flavors that you find in food. And then there's yeast strains too that add some complexities to the beer, making some beers even perfect for aging and, and uh, developing flavors over time. Well, and I'm glad you mentioned that because you talked about the complexities with things like wine, but now you're seeing companies like Goose Island delivering the beer in right. bottles that if you weren't looking closely, you may think this was a wine bottle. Yeah, the, these uh, beers are really brewed. Uh, they could be drunk immediately, you know, upon purchase. They're brewed that way. Uh, but you could age any of these beers for, you know, three to five years. And uh, depending on the style, it, um, you know, yeast flavors might develop more or less. Um, hop flavors, hop profiles may change. Um, so you're getting a different experience of the beer as it ages. Um, there's a really a lot of interesting complex flavors in beer and uh, you find it with uh, bottles like this. Makes perfect for sharing at a family yeah. event or oh, meeting yeah. with friends. A bottle this size, perfect to share around the table. And, and it's just and classy. It yeah. I love it. it is. I think it's great. Now are we going to be able to taste any of these uh, this weekend at the Iron Chef Tuesday? That you will. So Iron Chef, we have the culinary experience. It starts at 11 o'clock. So um, in addition to the food demos and all the lovely food that you get mm. to try there. Um, we'll have a beer garden there that will have Stella Artois, Leff, um, and Who Garden, which are the, kind of the Belgian tree that we talk about. But we'll have classrooms downstairs as well. Um, these Goose Island brands will be there as part of our Sour Beer Symposium. We also have some brands from Four Peaks. They'll be doing a progression of the Pale Ale, and then a couple other different classes that you can take. So 
learn a lot about the different brands that we have out there um, and enjoy some great beer and food while you're out there. I'm saying what better way to spend a Sunday than uh, walking right? around there the is La no Paloma exactly. and exactly. fantastic there. beers and, and eating some food. Absolutely. And and I know it's it's kind of a long event. It's like six hours on Sunday. And anybody who hasn't actually been out there yet to enjoy this amazing experience, what else can you tell us? What else is going to be going on? So like I said, we'll have a different beer garden that we'll have. Um, but there is a, a room that's just filled with various food vendors throughout amazing. Tucson. Yeah. Um, the, the places that you want to eat if you haven't already. So why not go and get a sample of some of those foods, pair it with some different beers. Um, there's going to be various different food demos throughout the day. Um, we'll have three classrooms ourselves, but there's going to be three or four other classrooms downstairs as well that deal with food. Um, and so it's a great event for the entire day, like you said. Can't wait. It's like Ikea. You have to walk all the way through <laughs> yeah. before you come yes. out. <laughs> Stella Artois presents the Iron Chef Tucson competition and culinary experience this Sunday at the Westin La Paloma Resort. Tickets to the event, which includes class on how to best enjoy Stella Artois, are just $20. Get your tickets by going online to ironchevtucson.com. And for more Stella Artois and the other beverage distributed by Hensley, visit hensley.com.